Washington High School football wrapped up just last week and for the final game of the season, the Central Valley Bears had a very special person back on their sidelines. Brenna Green joins us now with more on his story. Last spring before COVID shut down all high school sports, Central Valley's Brandon Thomas went out for the track team. It was his first time going out for track and he did it because the sophomore all GSL linebacker wanted to get faster for football. Turns out it was a decision that helped save his life. I felt kind of empty. I didn't really have any words. When Brandon Thomas went to meet with an orthopedic surgeon last spring, he thought he may have fractured an ankle while at track practice. Two weeks of rest hadn't done anything for the pulsing pain in his joint, helping prop up his body. The news, though, was much more shocking. So shocking that the doctor thought Brandon and his family had already been told. He said, today must have been a rough day for you, huh? And we had no clue what he meant. So then he started to explain that I had uh, cancer in my leg and that was definitely, hopefully, the roughest news I will ever get in my life. We weren't prepared for that diagnosis. I mean, so much so that I didn't even go, I wasn't even at the appointment. Brandon was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in his ankle, the same bone cancer that took West Valley's Jace Malik a few years ago. In that moment, I'll never forget Brandon looking at me and just saying, if I have to lo lose my foot, it's okay, I, I just want to live. Brandon's statement eventually became a reality. The doctors told him that it was possible to keep his lower leg, but that even walking may be difficult if he chose to do so. As an avid football player, that just wasn't an option for Brandon. You have to be determined, for sure, to, to, keep, to keep with that, with that choice. Um, you got to make sure you believe in your heart that this is the right choice and you have to stick with it. Thankfully, Brandon's determination to stick with everything over the last year led him to the phrase he wanted to hear, you're in remission. That's more than enough for his dad. In this moment, if I yell, hey, Brandon, he answers. And so chief among the things that I need is one, be cancer free. But Brandon has dreams past overcoming cancer. Before his diagnosis, he was on track to play collegiate football as he was a first team all GSL linebacker his sophomore season. Cancer and his prosthetic hasn't changed Brandon's goals. It me a lot. I mean, I, as a kid, I've, I've always been wanting to play college football and, and the NFL has always been my dream. So uh, it would it'd mean that all my hard work uh, paid off. If there's one thing Brandon has proven over and over again in his life, and once again through his cancer journey, it's this. Do not doubt him. In third grade, he said he was going to be a superhero when he grew up. That's kind of his personality. Is he's a, you know he's been this little superhero that you know I wouldn't bet against the kid in anything, frankly. So uh, if he says uh, he's going to make it, I'm. I'm just gonna buy tickets now. As a parent, you're just going, oh my gosh, this is gonna destroy him. Um, and then when he rose to that challenge, like he has everything else in his life, you know, you've got to take a moment and look at each other and go, why would we expect anything less? And Brandon doesn't expect anything less of himself in his life after the last year. I want to show people that I can do great things. I think he already has. Here's to hoping next time Brandon's with his teammates, he's in pads. That's it for sports. Wow, Brenna, thank you. What a special young man, family.